I want to see you again, even in the reincarnation. Alright, uh, training vlog number one, December 2023. Uh, if you don't know me already, my name is Mark. Hi. Uh, I was on my walk back from 5K. <laughs> as, as you can see, it's, it's rainy outside and it's cold. Anyway, I'm running a bunch of, a bunch of, a few Spartan races in 2024. I ran one in September of 2023, which is... I had a lot of fun. Fun is something that's been elusive to me for a little while. And I was walking back from this and I was like thinking about all this planning stuff in my head and balancing martial arts and running and how I'm going to train for the, the race and blah, 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 blah. But all I want to say now is I've been gamifying my life the last week or so. And it's been working really well because I believe in it. I ran five kilometers, 5.01 kilometers in 27 minutes and 55 seconds at a 534 kilometer minute per kilometer pace. Average heart rate was 165. I think the high was 198, which was kind of wild. 18 months ago, I struggled to run the full 5K. My my shins felt like they were exploding. My ankles hurt. All I want to say, <laughs> I'm like so prone to planning every aspect of everything, but I want to run 15K a week. That's 110K, 15K. I'm not going to sit here and tell you my plan. It's just a rough guideline. I got to experience life more. Rough guideline is 15K a week because I have a 21K in March. So I'm going to up this eventually in January because the Spartan race went pretty well when I did it and I didn't like I did specifically train for it but my you know my burpees were 40 push-ups I can probably do in one go two go you know let's find out let's find out right now my guess is I'm gonna hit 20 and then it's gonna be a struggle to hit the last 20. my goal here is not to have an explicit plan because every day of the week I make a new thing and then I fall apart one day and then it all goes to sh to nothing you know That's 10. Already modifying this. I ain't no Saitama, okay? I'll increase it over time when my level goes up. Let's see if I can get 10 of these in. All right, I did five. The beauty of that is I don't have to finish them right now. But that, you know, this month, I could wait until January. I would highly recommend you don't. Odds this video gets out before the 31st of December is highly unlikely. My flight to Alaska, I have to leave in like two and a half hours, but I'm doing my best. Part one of the December Spartan racing vlog series. I don't know. I had a lot of fun with them and I, that's honestly the only thing that mattered to me when I finished was that I actually had fun. Onwards and upwards. Belief is a weird thing. 8.50, it's playing some over, Overcooked. I'm no longer playing Overcooked, because I gotta ah, run. But it doesn't work if I don't choose to believe in these daily quests, you know? If I don't choose to believe in them, and I give myself excuses every now and then, what's the point of any of it? It's not too cold out. Got to run a 10K. Should take me under an hour. I have some leeway. And then I have two other daily quests. There was this cool race happening earlier around the lake, which I kind of wish I knew about, but I didn't. If I knew about it, would have done it. Off I go. Ugh. Mission accomplished. That was probably the most mentally, <coughs> mentally taxing 10K I've ever run in my life. Uh, it was a battle to actually do it the entire, entire time. Hey, I did it. In under an hour or two. Uh, my feet went numb three times. I walked the first two times a little bit. But this quest... Shit. 
quest thing that I did is something I chose to believe in and so that's why I'm running at 10 p.m. And holy shit, <laughs> my soleus muscles, as usual, were hurting. I don't know if, you know, they're, I, in the future, I'm sure I will oh, doubt uh, certain things. I know I've doubted them in the past. I don't know, my mind had to be in a certain place, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> I did it, I'm not coughing, my breathing was fine the whole time, and I can do it. Anyway, that's all. I just, I feel tired, exhausted, not quite proud, but I'm very glad with myself that I pushed through that. And that I didn't injure myself. That was what I'm afraid of most. My ankle's okay. For now, I don't know why my feet went numb. I would guess an electrolyte thing, but also just overwork. Yeah, it might sound like trash, but um, I'm just finishing up my daily quest. And I feel like a lot better. My form feels better. So I've done six pull-ups. I've done three and three. I realized yesterday that my form was kind of garbage. It's looking a little better. I think. It feels better at least, because my chest is getting all the way up to the bar. Uh, my form falls apart after that though, but I'm like trying to shoot to get the bar here as straight as I can Shoulders a little forward Coming down touching my sternum to the ground pushing back up arms at 45 degrees Ish out like not straight not way out and then I think once I can hit 10 pull-ups Straight through I will up the count a little bit and then I'll have to figure out something more explicit training wise for January for the sake of posterity just had a garbage run uh, the day was good, and then I had that run. Uh, it's Friday, so I did my 5K to and from martial arts on Thursday. So today was supposed to be a 10K, but I didn't even finish a 5K. I think I made it 2.7 miles, whatever that is, and KM. My left ankle started. It wasn't a shooting pain like it was about two months ago, but it was just... I feel like it was failing, like giving out to failure. And I, I think a part of that is just barefoot shoes, I'm still not quite fully used to them, even though it's been almost two years now. Failure of a run. I got some more stuff tonight to hopefully reclaim my mood, but try not to let it kill my total, my vibe totally, but I, accepting this at back. Just for posterity, I wanted to also record me being uh, about it. I lost feeling my right foot, so walk until I get that back. Breath is fine, I could probably go a little faster, but I don't want to push it too far. I'm going around for that too, but I'm gonna run into the water. It's 50 degrees, but uh, that should be fine. Fireflies just came on. My feet are gonna be very cold. This may have been a bit silly, but now I gotta move. Tapped into the running starring gun. Whoo doggy. Ugh. That's a look. That's a look and a half. Ooh, the bottom of my left heel Ugh, really hurts. It's 507. Shit. Great run. Opposite of the last one. <laughs> Just the fact that I realized if I like, once I hit like six kilometers, my feet go numb. Or at least that's when I start to feel the, the stitches, so to speak. And then at like eight kilometers, all shame is gone. It's a great place to be. <laughs> what is that? However, I think my heel must have been slamming into the ground. It's not a bad suffering. It's a, it's a pain that feels like it's growing. You just gotta be careful, you know? Oh yeah, and my feet in the water, great idea. I've been thinking about how I can better train for Spartan races specifically. And that is, that was funny. <laughs> Again, after that 8K, I just had no shame. I did it the first time after 5K, but I think the water's kind of stinky on one of the, on my second dunk, but it felt so good just, just piercing through my feet. I wish I went in deeper because my right soleus was hurting a lot. My running mania has died out now. It'll be interesting to see, I think, how I, how I learned to pick up training, like dipping my foot in the water. Every kilometer doing, you know, 10 burpees or something, once the 10K is just kind of set. Because just running for 10 miles is not, it's where I need to be, but for running. I want to work on other things too. Make it more of a broken up run, not just a straight run. Because that's where I got the cold water idea. My legs felt so good when I had to dunk into the muddy water. But anyway, I'm going to go rinse those shoes in the shower. Actually. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm biking back. Muay Thai, good sparring rounds. The bottom of my foot, 
no longer is a problem. Sometimes you just gotta push through. But you gotta know when to push through that certain thing. Good rounds. I was spiritually exhausted. I realized I had to else. I also haven't eaten today. Semi intentional for the run, but I also. Social accountability why I showed up from which I'm up next week and making the suspects. So I'm in Boston right now. It's <clears throat> Wednesday. I have not run. On Saturday during uh, Muay Thai, I was sparring and I kicked someone. And my leg was a little more, a little too rotated. I got a, a nice bone bruise. I was like limping for like two or three days and I can still feel it. Deep ache. What I really am afraid of is l like limping, like making it through the run, but limping and having my left leg again, like it did with a sprained ankle, take on 80% of the effort. I don't know if I'm too, like, I don't know where my line is anymore between injury and not injury. Changed my daily quest from either 10 pull-ups or 20 deep squats, which are not that difficult, but it's, it's something, you know? I don't want to lose the pull-ups gains I've gained. Uh, I just also need to toss in a core thing, I think. Slowly gonna add things onto that. I don't really know how this training vlog stuff is supposed to work. I think I need to ingest some more YouTube to start being like, oh yeah, I'm making YouTube again. It's December 28th, I have to get this vlog edited today before I leave for Alaska. I remember, I think when I started these videos, I did 10 push-ups and it was like, I guess I would get, s not sore, I don't know what the word is, but right now I feel my shoulder is a little funky, so I have to keep my scaps back, I think. But I'm up to 30 push-ups a day. I'll usually do 15, 15, and then I can do, let's find out actually. Ugh. I think five. I got a little help for my legs on the sixth one there, but oh, I'll take it. <clears throat> I did 5k yesterday uh but i failed last week's goal so point here can i just do 30 boom we'll see it's not going to be full range of motion but it should be okay Inch. my elbow makes a weird clicking sound as well 20 Ugh. My shoulders, just all my shoulders. Ah, <sighs> sucks. I don't think I got all the way down those last ones, but I will do my last four pull-ups later. I want to add burpees at some point and make deep squats a part of this. But more importantly, I need to make core a part of it, like L-sits. Also, I just want to emphasize, I have not done more than... Either 20, I think a week ago, I changed from 20 to 30 push-ups. I've been doing jiu-jitsu, I've been doing Muay Thai, but I haven't been doing circuits or sets. Literally, my training for non-running part of Spartan Race is just slow growth. A little bit each day, if I feel like it's too easy, like I'm not gonna exceed 30 yet, until I can do 30 in one, one go. But just a little bit each day, and I need to do that with flexibility as well, but Again, there's no serious training going on. I'm not doing active calisthenics. Little bit each day. That's all. That's all.